Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, this time in the darkest hours of the night. Today's beverages. A very nice tea, Earl Grey. Not so hot, but rather sort of tepid. Either way, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We were pretty much just finishing a couple of things off and trying to get the prison up to its sort of nominal capacity and to run okay without a lot of excessive micromanagement. And apart from the odd sort of kickoff from the new gang leaders here, the John Nubati, it's pretty much working as intended. However, there's a couple of things we need to fix in this episode. We need to finish over on the bottom left here. That's just a couple of uh, work shop saws and presses do something on the bottom right more slightly this will be a common room and then finally we want to uh, we want to do something over here in the uh, death row area because, well, we are going to get some intake. I just want to check and, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, we'll come on to that in but a moment. So, I have skipped time a couple of days because I was, quite frankly, sick of waiting for the game to give us these uh, death row things. And I thought it wouldn't be a great episode of just sitting, waiting, watching the day goes uh, as the day goes by and uh, waiting for our inmates. So, we now have two death row inmates that are going to arrive and I have no idea what they're going to be like but obviously they will be escorted over here to uh, their new their new uh, homes here so and then obviously we'll go through the process of is he kicking off that is a, a, a drain that's been punished interesting uh, yes so we'll have to go through and go through all the processes make sure we've got them categorized correctly we'll have to do some death row appeal all of that sort of thing however a lot of that also requires some grants that we don't yet have there is our intake and we have the chief calling so the chief says our first death row prisoner has arrived we need to make sure we have death row appeal program set up in the pro room so that they can have their appeal hearings so yes we will do just that we'll go over to our pro Programs. Scrolling down to parole hearing, I'm going to cancel one of those and then I'll set up a death row appeal and it says two in the queue. We don't actually need, uh, can we, no we're going to have to cancel those so we'll just reschedule and there we go it's now working. These rooms here are set to parole, I, be I don't believe they need to be set to death row although I'm going to try something first. Over to deployment and a death row, select that and does it change over? It does not so that's fine. I have to sort of remind myself about a lot of these things because quite frankly they've changed a lot throughout the years and some of the rooms will change designation based on the based on the type of prisoners that have access to that so whether it's staff only or whatever uh, it's it's uncommon but is becoming more common with different dlcs and patches because basically bloat uh, either way let's just see how we get on so we do have our new inmates here we have prisoner tom park in age 44 prisoner number 9644977 it is uh, sentenced to 68 years for multiple crimes including murder torture and grievous bodily harm and they've pleaded guilty to all of them by the look of it we also have paul headland here who is prisoner number 9644993 Okay, age 27. If 71 years for multiple crimes, including murder, aggravated assault, and grievous bodily harm. They have a girlfriend and one, two, three, four, five sons, apparently. Uh, they have pleaded not guilty to all of these. However, their likelihood of clemency is 45%. For parking here, 37%. So, there you go. Oh, we also have another inmate with uh, unknown reputations, by the look of it. That's Sean Ellison. So... We have new prisoners, new inmates, etc. Um, okay, so over here, the reason I was measuring it at the start is death row appeal, people did mention. And at the moment, they've only got this uh, these two areas at the top for parole. However, the death row appeal I would have liked to place in here, but it requires a 5x5 five five area. So it would have to be... Uh, that's the internal, so the walls would have to be that which means that, is that the right, yeah, 5x5, five five. so it means that the execution room would have to be shifted, and yeah, that's not going to happen. So we could move it elsewhere, but quite frankly, I think we'll be alright as is. Uh, the electric chair is all hooked up. This is, I'll be honest, this is not a process that I find endearing or enjoyable at all. It's just a part of the game that people like to see as a sort of completion. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through that, but... Let's see how it goes. Uh, the danger level is increasing. We have uh, 24 prisoners say they are well treated with 19 with serious complaints. Almost certainly all of them will be gang members. Uh, needs here. And, oh, interesting. I, th I was going to say a lot of them will be shouting for luxuries, but it's actually apparently... 
pause for a moment. Uh, apparently it is exercise that people are shouting about. And where is this here? This is Felix Eaton, who has kicked off. And it's, yeah, killed, dead, uh, shotgun. This person's put their hands up and they've got some really interesting shades. It's prisoner uniforms. There we go. And where's the other person then? So it does say two people have died. I don't know where. Anyway, so, as you can see on the top left here, we now have death row inmates, Tom Parkin, 37%, Paul Headland, 45%. Warden, I've just heard word that a prisoner are unhappy with how much work they have to do. So basically reduce their work time to less than two hours per day. Okay, we will do that, but that's not going to be ideal. Anyway, over to our regime, over to work slash free time. And I think what we'll do is do this across the board. And that should provide us with, yes, the work, prisoners demand less work, but we've still got two hours of work slash lock up. So they're either locked up or doing some work. We have, obviously, Parkin, who's hanging around there. We've got uh, Paul, who's hanging around there. We have, I think, this set up correctly. Um, deployment. Yep, those are set up to be death row. That set staff only. I didn't realise, but that and that was set staff only. And it means that anyone who wanted to go around had to go around the other way. I have no idea how long it's been like that, but um, it would probably be, obviously, too long. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of people were mentioning this cleaning cupboard as well in the last episode, saying that we should probably change this to a, um, a security room of some kind. Security is a minimum of 4x4, four four, so sadly that's that wasn't going to work out, but we'll, uh, we'll put the tiles in there for the floor. Over to our bureaucracy, we have legal prep, which I would like, and there's also execution liability, which I would also very much like to pick up. The problem with that is, quite frankly, the money, or rather the lack of it. We own 70% of the prison because we've uh, I've bought some of the shares back. I thought it would be a positive thing to do. We have, according to this, a total prison value of uh, 4,000... Uh, sorry, 420,000. So it's almost half a million generic units of currency for our prisoners uh, for our prison in total prisoner grading we'll have a look at that we've got reoffending rate of four percent punishment reform security and health is all low but it's not pegged the dial we haven't uh we're not just a chalk on the bottom of this list here which is okay we have a daily profit of about five grand 55 staff fatalities 120 capacity 108 deaths in custody yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, prisoners escaped 7, paroled early 41 with a 4% reoffending rate. So, you know what? The prisoners actually being released, the ones that are going through parole and such, it doesn't seem to be a huge issue there, which is uh, desirable. Ah, I see that none of the prisoners are around here. This is our death row inmates. So, where are they? Well, they can only really be in one place, and yes, they are over here. This is Headland and Parkin who are going through the uh, the death row appeals so they have a chance of their sentence being basically reduced from death row to essentially life imprisonment or at least 25 to life um, but obviously it's 37% and 45% so the chances are good that one of them yeah there you go has um, been moved over so Paul here Paul Headland they have had their sentence changed from death row to to essentially High, high risk. I would, I would probably put them in supermax. There's also been a bit of a little bit of a kick off there. It looks to be yeah, John Newbatty, who, as a gang leader, decides that they really want to try and munch on uh, shotgun pellets, and successfully does so, to be honest. But now danger level is going to fly up, so I'm just waiting until we can end their sentence. Uh, although it says that they're not, yeah, that's not actually happening. They're seriously injured and billeting all over the floor, which is very inconsiderate. Not thinking about the the workers at all, or the janitors. And apparently, interesting, they've kicked off and no sentence. I think maybe it was, I mean, what was it recent? Let's say, let's check recent misconduct. Destruction. Destruction, I believe, is not something that will get you in solitary. So policy, destruction. It's locked down for an hour. So they're actually in lockdown for an hour in their own cells. So they, they punched a radio or whatever. They didn't like the, the music that was on. And then after that, yeah, <laughs> basically uh, served that one hour. So I didn't have to alter things. Okay, cool. Um, 
once again, back over to our intake, double-checking that both Maxec and Death Row are maxed out, which they currently are. We are at prisoner capacity. Actually, are we at or are we f past it? No, we're at prisoner capacity. We did have, obviously, one inmate move over from their current Death Row status to high risk because of the... Uh, thing that we were running. I am going to go to programs, going to go down to parole hearings, start another parole hearing, and I'm going to turn off, um, where is it, death row appeal for one of them, then reschedule all. One of them has passed with a 50% pass rate there. It says country apprenticeship, all rooms booked. The reason for that is simply because of the, only, the two hours of work that we are running at the moment, and we've got another 57 hours to uh, complete that, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that one. 9,791 generic units of currency. I am going to... I can't sell any more shares, and because of our credit rating and the way it ticks over, we can't get any more... We can't get any more money. Hmm. Uh, over to bureaucracy, and I'm going to go for execution liability. Your lawyer lobbies for a reduction in the required strength of the conviction before death row proceedings can be properly started. Essentially lowers the number of appeals a prisoner gets before you can schedule execution without liability. So, at the moment, we could... I was going to say happily, but that's definitely not the case. We could, if we did so desire, schedule the execution. The state-approved conviction strength is 5%, which basically means that even if they are, well, the likelihood of clemency is 18%. If we schedule it now, and it's proved after the fact that they were innocent of the crimes, we would get a hefty, hefty penalty. Um, if it's deemed after the fact that indeed they were guilty, then I don't think, do we get any monetary value after that? It seems a bit wrong to get that, but I don't know how the game presents it. I can't actually remember because it's been a fair while since we've done this um but yeah at the moment it's five percent so we want to make sure that like you say we go through that death row appeals all that process etc stamp the forms do the paperwork and make sure that everything is um according to state legal and above board like i say you can do it now if you really want to do they can come in with a 95 percent uh likelihood of being um i wouldn't say innocent of the crimes i don't think that's the right term but certainly the, the, the sentence could have been reduced um but still, yeah, we could do that and get, get the penalty if we do so desire, but we're going to go through the, the normal processes. So I think it takes a couple of days for each time uh, they do that uh, execution liability. Uh, sorry, death row appeals. Death row appeals for the execution liability. They have a wife, a daughter, a son, daughter, and son. There you go. Two daughters, two sons. <clears throat> daughter and son is age 11. Okay, fair enough. Death row appeal failed. That's reform program history. Grading. Punishment high. Reform low. Security high. Health minus four. So, well fed would give them one point. Exercising an additional point. And your penalties. It's got one act of addiction apparently for a prisoner parking here. Two maximum security are going to turn up shortly. Um, while we're waiting for the uh, bank balance to increase what do we want to have this room as well a lot of people did suggest the same thing and that was a common room and i think that's a reasonable a reasonable thing um oh, i tried to double click to move the door that's not a thing anymore um well it's not a thing i say anymore it's not a thing in this build it doesn't mean enough time passed for it to be anymore because this is the 2018 anniversary edition and there's a featherstone So, let's just see how that goes on. Common room over there is not terrible. I don't think we're going to put any toilets in. Every every cell has its own toilets and stuff, so there's no real dramas. So, I'm just going to tell that guy to dismantle that, because I'm just going to put it on the outside. I don't think there's any reason why we can't. Over to our walls, brick wall, that can go there. Objects, door. Um, we'll put a double door on it. Why not? We have the, we have the power. <laughs> what was that noise that they made? And, I mean, maybe they're wanting some free cardio, but they're, they're bringing it all the way to here to then bring it all the way back down. <laughs> I mean, okay, fine. In terms of intake, once again, high risk, no death row. It's uh, one of those things that can take a lot of time. And sometimes it just won't, you just won't get the, uh, the intake for... Well, sometimes I don't think you can get it, depending on the other prisoners that you're getting in. But it certainly takes quite some time. Got to put some nice mosaic floor in. 
I'm putting the flooring in and everything else before I even bother with the the actual contents of the room. Okay. Hang on. Oh, it's the matter they're in bed. We're good. Uh, shakedown. We haven't done a shakedown in quite some time, so we're going to do that. Many tunnels is the is the one I'm looking for. Once again, a couple of people asking, where's the tunnel search button? I have to reiterate that this is the Prison Architect Anniversary 2018 edition, the last official edition from Introversion Software. Before it was sold to Paradox. So, a lot of features, certainly all the DLCs, we do not have. We are not running them in this build. So, about halfway through the search, 420 places. 430, 440, 450, 60. Goes quick. Does go quick. Tunnel found. Say tunnel found. Actually, could be subsidence where the toilet's uh, seated. So, I've got to remove tunnels. Just get that done. It's mainly around here. I couldn't believe I have one tunnel going up and round, and that was interesting. <clears throat> We're only going to receive one maximum security because obviously this is currently not classed as an official legit room because it isn't surrounded by walls or doors. And as they're using the toilet, I've just <laughs> went in and sorted that out. <laughs> the flooring. The prison I noticed is getting a bit dirty. See here? A lot of dirt. A lot of dirt around places. Actually, the, this is this area is quite nice. But yeah. Just because there's not that many people cleaning, there's only the... Let's stop that search there. There's only the janitors cleaning. And two hours of the prisoners doing it. So, common room. What can we put in? Well, all manner of things. Pool table is the obvious one. Put some pool tables in. Maybe we'll make an indoor gym. Not something we usually do, but we can do that. When well, you've got things like TVs. Put some TVs in. Whoops. Don't actually like them all the way back there. That'll that should be fine. Um and yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't need much more than that. Let's have another, an extra common room. It's got the same features as this. Just in a slightly different form factor. So, looks like execution liability is on 41 hours left. So still a couple of days to finish that. Didn't realise it took actually that, that sort of extended amount of time. But that's not a problem. Over to objects and to... Oh, actually, no. Checking out utilities first. So, utilities... No, we're okay. I was checking to see what grid this was on. Because it could have provided... Well, it could have been a bit of a problem if we went on the right grid. And all we're doing here is literally just finishing this off. We don't even need this amount of... Uh, Ah, oh, we're just out in terms of money. We don't even need this amount of uh, workshop shells and presses and tooling in there. There's no reason for it. It's just we might as well finish it off. We're going for the full completion here. So parking, still in there. Looks like they're being sick everywhere. Uh, they do have a yes, they are. They do have a need for drugs, but they also have access to this computer. And so. Digital hard drugs. AKA uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters for me at the moment. <laughs> Been very much enjoying that game. Um, in terms of the programs then. Country all book, that's understandable. Alcoholics group got two in the queue. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, four in the queue. Parole hearing only one in the queue. Death row appeal. Nothing in the queue at all. I think it takes a couple of days for it to cycle through. Kitchen safety and hygiene. I know there's been some people say, like, why don't we go through with that? It's not a terrible idea, but it's just the sheer amount of... The sheer amount of, uh... Contraband that could be... Sort of put through it is, is the potential issue. Just going to double check all of our patrols just to make sure we've got everything set up. 
Yeah, so each cell will have a guard and an arm guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Don't think we necessarily need a guard patrolling in the workshop. No, I don't think we do. So I'll remove that for now. We've got two guards, one armed guard and one dog patrol in the two canteens. Got a staff patrol uh, all the way around the outside here, which, to be honest, again, is probably not needed, realistically. No. I mean, what they're going to find... Every time it's kicked off, people have tried to get out through the main rec uh, main um, reception. So they haven't, say, smashed in the chapel door and then smashed in the staff door and then went round here. They haven't done that. So I don't see that patrol there. So that's freeing up a couple of extra people there. I am going to activate uh, Tim Turner here just to see if we've got any traits that are of potential issue. Just the three. Just these three in here, which is our three three snitches. Okay, we'll just deactivate them then. They have 100% coverage, Tim Turner. They are a leaky faucet when it comes to information. <laughs> we get to know all manner of things. One thing I'm looking at is this as well. That's where the power is at the moment. This chair requires a certain amount of power to operate. I don't know whether we have that power. Honestly, I don't know if we do. What I could very easily do though is cut that wire there and connect that wire here and then take eight metal detectors off that grid. That is possible. Possible and indeed probable. We still have people trying to go through the education course that's foundation and then general education it's realistically not going to happen uh, oh looks like new batteries kicked off so we now have two armed guards coming along they've punched him and he's given up after a couple of punches very very sensible decision John the original destruction thing not so sensible I'm going to end the punishment there because I think that we're going to be escorted elsewhere I don't know if they actually let's check no, it's, it's just destruction for their recent misconduct. Okay. So they didn't fight back. They did not fight back. There's our janitor there coming in, dropping some prisoner uniforms off. To uh, park in. Some people going through. Some parole hearings there. And we have... Oh, a couple of seconds... For the Prisoners Demand Less Work event to trigger. That's now finished. So over to... Regime. Work slash free time. All across the board there. And... I'll... I really want to reschedule the programs. But people are going through this stuff now. And if I do that, it's going to probably cause some issues. So... Yeah... Probably not going to do that until the end of the day. Because if I reschedule it, it'll cancel what they're doing. Oh, wow. That's uh, fairly full then, isn't it? People have mentioned that these pews are backwards. I'm going to see if that's the case. Apparently they're facing the wrong way. I mean, it doesn't seem to affect them. They seem to be looking the, the correct way anyway. But let's just mantle it. And then, that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 a thing, apparently. Or it's not in the, the right way, anyway. Well, regardless of what... Uh, regardless of anything else, I am going to dismantle them and uh, get them sorted. There we go. Get that fixed up. They're all removed. Pews the right way now. Hopefully that's correct. Because you got like the stool there. Eh, if it's wrong, it's wrong. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over it. Just a couple of hours, maybe. 
to buy some more shares to ensure that we own 80% of our prison. This being a private venture, apparently. Um, 56,408 generic units of currency to do that. Currently sitting on 19 grand. So, yeah. Uh, reschedule all programs. For calm tree apprenticeship. Spiritual guidance. Would it be benefit firing up another one? No. Oh! Right underway. Interesting. Why is there a right underway? And where is it? It's around here. Ed Smith. Killed by guards being a cop killer. Wow. Didn't... Uh, I think we may have bumped into them before. But either way, legendary prisoner. Extremely strong, tough, volatile, stalkal. Extremely deadly. Cop killer, fearless. Expert fighter and gang member. Oh. Right. While I was managing things like spinning the chapel chairs around and making sure the other stuff was right in terms of the patrols, a green gang member has turned up. And it was probably him. I mean, obviously no more. But because of that, the green gang has kicked off. There, Martin, Supermax, is their second in command. Hence the fighting. And hence why this is controlled by green. I'm not too bothered about, like, oh, right, okay. There's Alex, um, who's no longer fighting. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not too bothered about that riot because it's not many gang members. But, obviously some people are going to be fighting. All gang members mainly. Because they'll be really annoyed at what's happened over here. I assume that because of yeah, Ed, Ed Smith, I'm... I'm just assuming, perhaps wrongly, that they've kicked off because of the, well, their extremely volatile nature. And that's what's happened there. Okay. All right. So, green gang members. I mean, obviously no more. If I saw them sooner, I would put them in here. But actually, horrible to say, what's happened there has um, sort of, well... You remove the man, you remove the problem, is essentially what's happened there. Horrible to say, but... Yeah. Would it be nice to spot them sooner, though, and get them in a position where we can uh, control the prison a bit more. But, it is what it is. Anyway, that's been a bit of Prison Architect. We have got our regime back on track. Still running through most of the programs as per. Intake still set to max second death row. We've only had two death row inmates. One of them had their sentence put straight away to uh, straight away to from death row to high risk. We still have, however, Tom Park in eighteen percent chance clemency. They do have another. Death Row Appeal scheduled. It is scheduled now, today, at between 6 and 10 p.m. And then after that, we'll know next episode whether or not we can go through the whole process or whether or not there's going to be some problems. Either way, we're going to call it there. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far. In terms of length of episodes left, I mean, one <laughs> at most, I would assume. Um... I actually assumed that this was going to be the last for this series. It was going to be bringing the death row inmates, see what happens, whether it be going through the whole process or not. But we finished off the building, apart from the odds and ends with maybe the odd bit of flooring missing. But as far as I can tell, oh, there's also a weight bench missing there. That was sorted. But yeah, we've got all these rooms put in. Everything seems to be pretty much sorted. Should probably change that to shared as well. 
and I'm overall pretty happy with it. Next episode, I think what we'll do is obviously see what happens with Tom Park and our death row inmate. And I'm going to put some road barriers in. And then that should be as secure as we can possibly get it. Road barriers or gates? Probably gates. I don't think we can have road barriers because of the positioning of where we got the entrance, which is a massive weak, pot, weak spot. But, well, there you are. Just double checking. No, we don't have a gang leader. At least uh, not that we are aware of. And there's a face in game. So, we'll call it there next episode. We will finish this, this thing off and then go ahead and do the escape attempt because we always do one of those and an extreme testing initiative where we put the prison through its paces either way hope you have enjoyed this episode and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings